You can't take a good picture until you study your subject very carefully. Fussy, isn't he? Kiwi, you'll be a great cameraman someday. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lewis. Greetings, everybody. Oh, Kiwi, how are Mr. Koala's insect studies coming along? He hasn't even started yet. He hasn't done a thing. He says he's just not in the right mood today. If you're his assistant, it's your job to see if he gets in the right mood. I'm holding you responsible to deliver one picture by tomorrow. Understand? Bye-bye. Don't forget, Kiwi. Tomorrow. What do I do? Don't worry. Mommy just made a cake. Papa will wake up. Sure. Cheer up, Kiwi. Mmm. Ah. Your eucalyptus cake was especially good today. I'm just raring to go. No wonder you ate four pieces without stopping for breath. <laughs> ah, come on, Kiwi. We've got work to do. You see? Oh, boy. I'm coming, Mr. Koala. I <laughs> got it. Oh. They're off. I wonder what they're going to take pictures of. will do nicely. Now all we have to do is wait till an interesting insect lands in the middle of our shot. Right. I wonder what it'll be. This may take quite a while. We must have patience, Kiwi. Rome was not built in a day, you know. Mm -mm. Hey, look! Isn't that Rue Bear over there? I wonder what they're doing. Rue Bear! Rue Bear! Hey, Rue Bear, Bear, what you doing? Hey, be quiet! Hmm? Who's making all that racket? Rue Bear and his friends. Oh, tell them to be quiet. They're disturbing my work. They always seem to come around at the wrong moment, Ooh. don't they? Quick, now's the time. Go someplace else and play. We're trying to do some work here. Oh! Oh! oh. It went away. Oh, I'll get it. Kiwi. Yes? Because of you, what would have been a great work of art is forever lost to mankind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kiwi was only trying to tell us to go away. We're really to blame for spoiling the shot. Please don't blame poor Kiwi, Papa. That's true. You children started the trouble. 
But Kiwi, it was Kiwi who yelled, scaring the butterfly. It was Kiwi who knocked down the tripod. A camera assistant. Fat chance. Uh... What about the deadline? She wants a picture by tomorrow. A great artist can't be bothered with deadlines. If Miss Lewis wants a picture by tomorrow, she can find another cameraman. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Kiwi. We children fungled it. Mm -hmm. I fumbled. You're supposed to be an assistant cameraman? It wasn't Kiwi's fault, Miss Lewis. We want Mr. Koala to take the picture, so we'll postpone the delivery date for a few more days. And besides, I think we might get along faster if we had a better assistant cameraman. Uh huh? I'll make sure I recommend that the next time I see Mr. Koala. Yes, I'll try to find a new one for him. Goodbye. I guess I'd better give up. I just wasn't cut out to be an assistant cameraman. Don't talk like that, Kiwi. I saw the way you were studying that insect. You like taking pictures. Rupert's right. You'll be a great cameraman someday. I'm no good. Mr. Koala says so. If we don't do something to help him soon, Miss Lewis will find him another assistant. And if Miss Lewis insists, he may fire Kiwi and hire the new one. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'll make sure that doesn't happen. What can you do about it? Something that'll really dazzle Miss Lewis. Yeah, you mean an exciting news story, a scoop. Something Kiwi can take a picture of that'll be a scoop. What's his scoop, huh? It's a really interesting news story that nobody else has got. Uh, let's find a scoop for Kiwi. Yeah! A scoop, a scoop. Oh, where can we find a scoop, I wonder? Pardon me, officer. Do you know where we can find an exciting news story? An exciting news story, huh? You want to know what I did today? Tell us about it, sir. Then I'll take pictures to go along with your story, and we'll have a scoop for the papers. Hmm. There's no crime around here. The village is so peaceful that I had nothing to do all day, but... Uh, isn't that exciting? Oh. Not very. I know an old penguin that had a wonderful act in vaudeville. Will you please show us the act you used to do? Well, sure. Ah-ka-do-do-do! Guarantee an exclusive on him. Take a picture, he's great. I can't take a picture of his voice. Oh. I'll never be able to get a scoop. They're not easy to find. I'd better give up trying to be a cameraman. But thanks for all your help. I'll go home and try to think of a new career. Bye. Oh, Kiwi, wait. Gee, we can't leave Kiwi all alone and discouraged like that. After what we did to him, we've got to find a scoop. But we haven't been able to find a scoop. I can't think of anything to do. I know. Why don't we make a scoop ourselves? Make one? Yeah, but how could we ever do it? Well, this is the way to make a scoop. First, we will... And then... There now. This ought to do, and let's take that mask we made in school the other day. What's going on here? Not much. Just fooling around. Your poor papa is in a very unhappy mood today. He just doesn't feel like taking pictures. Hmm. What can those children be up to now? <laughs> Where are you taking me? What's the big hurry? Come on. There's a rumor that a big monster's been seen in the woods. A monster? I don't want to see a monster. Get ready to take a picture. I don't see anything. Not a single monster. Kiwi, can you stand up? What have you silly children done to poor Kiwi? <laughs> oh, this for the sake of a scoop. Kiwi, I'm sorry if we frightened you. I still haven't got a chance of ever being a cameraman. You were great, Kiwi. When you fell down, you kept your arms around the camera. You're a real professional. You 
mean you'll still let me be your assistant? Yeah, I said some things I didn't mean. Forgive me. Oh, Mr. Koala. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. The important thing is to just keep doing your best. Oh, yes. Refreshment. Mr. Koala. Oh, good, Miss Lewis. You're just in time to have some eucalyptus juice with us. Come in. No time for that. We've got a scoop. A big, horrible monster has been seen in the woods. We've got to get pictures of it. Oh! <laughs> well, that's only a rumor. You think so? Miss <laughs> 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 Lewis! Oh, Miss Lewis! I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, do you run for your lives, everybody? There's a monster in the woods. There isn't a minute to lose. Hurry up, hurry up. It's a big scoop. Somebody get pictures. It's got six arms and two heads. No, three heads, I think. They say it attacks lizards, especially lizards like me. They have to run now. I take pictures of myself, but I have to go home now and hide under the bed. Goodbye. Who was that fellow? That was my new assistant. I just hired him today. He's still rather new to the work. Would you like to have him assist you with your pictures, Mr. Koala? No, Miss Lewis. I have a good assistant. Oh. Thank you. Well, in that case, I'll be running along now. Now, children, who would like some eucalyptus juice? Me! Here's to you, Kiwi. Thanks. The Adventures of the Little Koala will be right back after these messages. Hey, look out. There's a bee on Nick Jr. Ah! Don't worry. She's not the kind who stings. I'm Maya, and I just want to play. She's the kind who swings. The kind who sings. Catch me if you dare. The kind who lends a helping wing. <laughs> She's the most beautiful bee you'll ever see. Be on the lookout for Maya the Bee. Dropping in weekdays on Nick Jr. Mm -hmm. I do. Wow. Ow. Yeah, that bee does. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I meant to do that. Yeah, everything's under control now. Wow. I'm fine. Luckily, I landed on my head. Yeah. Well, you can drop in and see Batley at... Eureka's Castle! Every weekday on Nick Jr. Some magical new friends are joining the Nick Jr. family. You bet! Meet Blinky. Sure, he may look like an ordinary teddy bear, but he's really just a sleepyhead. Whenever I want you to wake up, I just go like this. <laughs> a little noodle's all it takes, Sandy! Join Blinky and his sister Pinky for lots of kooky koala dancing, flying, and messing around. You mean you can make the impossible possible? That happens to be my specialty. The Noozles. Weekdays after the little koala on Nick Jr. And now, back to the adventures of the little koala on Nick Jr. like if Mount Breadknife was a space rocket. Oh, really? Fluffy's clever, but I'm glad Mount Breadknife isn't a rocket. It might take off. Hey, Nick, I know it's called Mount Breadknife, but you're drawing a kitchen knife. I know. That's because I had a kitchen knife right in front of me. That's the trouble with all kinds of artists. They're always doing something that you're not expecting them to do. Hey, here, baby! You're fast. But Mingle, your whole drawing is nothing but solid green paint. Well, from up there in the tree, all I could see was leaves. Ooh. Hey! Wouldn't it be great if we could make a drawing of that eucalyptus tree that was as big as the tree? As big as the tree? Sounds like fun. Yeah, what a good idea. Let's do it. It'll be the 
biggest drawing in the world. Oh, but Flopper, we haven't got a piece of paper big enough. Yeah, that's right. Wait, we've got lots of drawing paper. We'll just put little sheets together on the ground to make a big sheet. There we are. That's great. We've got a sheet of paper as big as a tree. Come on, let's get started. Can we all do some drawing? Sure, but watch it, Nick. Just be sure you don't draw any kitchen knives, okay? You stop me. Hey! Come on, me. Cut it out. I won't draw hey! any knives. Stop it. No more arguing. We've got work to do. Now, Mimi and Laura, you're in charge of mixing the paint. Okay, Floppy. Okay, and Mingle, you're the best climber and flyer we've got, so you've got to measure the eucalyptus tree for us, so our drawing will be right. Sure, but how will I do it? Well, first of all, how tall are you, Mingle? Twenty inches. Just find out how many times your height the tree is. You mean measure my height against the tree? Oh, <laughs> Um, exactly 30 times me. 30 times Mingle. And Mingle is 20 inches tall. That makes how many feet? The tree is 50 feet high. Gee, Floppy, how'd you figure that out so fast? And how tall are you, Nick? Oh, I'm just two feet tall. Hmm. The tree is 25 times his height. Oh, I see. Floppy... You're a lot faster than I am in arithmetic. One, two, three, four. I'll go measure the branches. Good, but when you finish measuring each branch, don't bother coming down. Just yell the measurements from up there. Okay. See? Twenty-one. There, that's the top of the tree. Gee, I'm dizzy. Our drawing is going to be exactly the size of the tree. Hey, Floppy! Eight times me! Okay. That means the left branch is 13 feet long. Right, Nick. You do six somersaults and a bit more. Okay. <laughs> this branch on the right is six and a half times me. Okay. That's just a little over 10 feet. your father to take a picture of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rubear, you should tell Miss Lewis, too. It would make a good story for her. There'll be a story and pictures in the newspaper. And soon we'll all be famous artists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've got paint on your faces. <laughs> Boy, you know, get all that I'm going to and bring Papa and Miss Lewis to see our painting. <clears throat> what a good sleep. Where's Mingle, I wonder? Oh. Ah, weather! Thank you. What have you been doing, Rubert? We've been making a really enormous painting, and Mingle was helping. You should go take a look. It's right over there. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! What's that? I'll catch it. There. It's some kind of painting, but not very good. Who could have done such an uninteresting painting? Hmm, I wonder what it's supposed to be. There's some more over there. Oh, good heavens! This is part of our eucalyptus tree. Oh! The wind is blowing them away. We've got to catch them. Hey! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
about, Ruber? The kids and I have made a gigantic painting, and we want you to take a picture of it. That's nice, Ruber, but what's all the rush about? What's it a painting of, dear? You say this painting of yours is 50 feet high? Fantastic! I'll make sure there's a big story about it in tomorrow's newspaper. Where did you ever find a piece of drawing paper big enough for a painting that size? You'll understand when you see it, Mommy. The painting may be too big for my camera. I'll have to use my widest lens and get a long way back from it to get it all in. Is that supposed to be a eucalyptus tree? It must be one of those modern paintings, all mixed up. It's so very strange. What happened to our picture, Floppy? The wind blew all the paper away. We found all the pieces, but we're having trouble getting them back the way they were. Oh, it's awfully difficult. See if you can get it together. It should be easy. Just put all the pieces back where they were before. That sounds a lot easier than it is. Let me try that one. Now, where did this piece go before? Oh, think of something floppy. My arithmetic won't help me with this problem. It's too complicated. There's hundreds of these pieces to fit together. <laughs> That's the biggest jigsaw puzzle in the whole world. Papa, don't just stand there. Come and help us, please. All right. When it's done, it'll be a picture of that tree. Well, I bet this'll be a lot of fun. Now, this is a bit of leaf I've got. I've always liked jigsaw puzzles. Let's go and try it, Mrs. Koala. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, this reminds me of my childhood. I used to be an expert at doing jigsaw puzzles. They weren't nearly as big as this one, though. Jigsaws are fun for children and adults both. <laughs> I think this is a leaf that goes on the top of a tree. This looks like the end of the branch at the bottom. Whoa! I know this piece won't fit over there, and it won't fit here either. This piece doesn't fit anywhere. Whoever put this piece in was wrong. It doesn't fit. Papa, I put it there and it's right. Your piece won't go there. Well, it looks better there than your piece. Is this right? Don't think so. Oh, wrong. Again. Oh! I'm afraid our system isn't working very well. Oh, well, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. But we'll never give up, will we? Never! 